Okay, we're on lesson 2.8. We're going to talk a little bit. We're going to look at those two top boxes at the top of the page. How can you adjust the quotient if your estimate is too high? So we're going to look at that. When you estimate to decide where to place the first digit, you can also try using that first digit of your estimate to find the first digit of your quotient. Sometimes an estimate is too low or too high. Okay, so in this one we rounded 3,382 to 3,000 and we rounded 50 or 48 to 50 and so we got an estimate of 6. 60. So we're going to try 6 as our first number we're going to multiply. And 6 times 48 is 288. When I subtract that, I get 50. Well, 50 is larger than 48. So that doesn't work. We would have to go to 7. Okay, let's look at the second example. Divide 453 divided by 65. Estimate 490 divided by 70 <coughs> equals 7. Since we bumped our divisor to 70, 49 is a multiple of 7, so that's why they rounded 453 to 490. If an estimate is too high, the product with the first digit will be too large and cannot be subtracted. And when we multiply 65 times 7, we get 455, and that's too large. So on this one, we would have to back it down to 6. Okay, here we go. We're going to look at what they want us to do. A new music group makes 6,127 copies of its first CD. The group sells 75 copies of the CD at each of its shows. How many shows does it take the group to sell all of the CDs? So if we estimate that, we might estimate that to 6,300 divided by 70. Okay, and that's going to get us 90. So, you know what they're telling you is you can take this 9, now we know it's going to be over the number in the tens plate, and we can multiply 75 times 90, and 9 times 5 is 45, read this before, 9 times 7 is 63, plus 4 is 67. Now we have a problem. If we have 612, can we subtract 675? No. So our estimate is what? Too high. So we're going to have to go back. And we're going to have to try one number less than 9, which is 8. And 8 times 5 is 40. And what is 7 times 8? 56. Plus 4, 60. And when I subtract, I get 12. Is 12, can I take 12 and spread it out among 60, or 75 groups? No, nope, so we're good there. We're going to bring down our 7. Okay. So now we're moving on to step Step two, estimate 140 divided by 70. How many 70s in 140? <coughs> two. So let's try a two. Two times five is 10. Read it for one. Two times seven is 14 plus one is 15. Is that going to work? No. No. Our estimate was too high. So we're going to have to adjust again. So we're going to make this a what? A 1. We're going to have to go lower. <coughs> and 1 times 5 is 5, and 1 times 7 is 7. When we subtract, we can get a 2. Then 12 minus 7 is 5. Can I divide 52 equally or among 75 groups? No, I certainly can't. So how many shows, so now I have a remainder, Oops. 
How many shows is it going to take them to sell? Remember the question is to sell all of their CD. How many shows is it going to take to sell all of the CD? 82. 82. Why not 81? They have to sell the extra 52 CDs. They still have to sell the 52. So at 81 of their shows, they're going to sell 75. And then at that last show, they'll have 52 left to sell. Okay, so by using that 9 from my 90, that gave me a place to start. It wasn't right, but it gave me a place to start. I knew that that was too big, and so I went down one. That's a good process to go through to figure that out. All right, now we are on page 92. At the top it says, try this. When the difference is equal to or greater than the divisor, the estimate is too low. Equal to or greater. Why would the estimate be too low if when you subtracted it was equal to the divisor? What could you have done? Took it times one more than you did, right? If it's greater than, you could have taken it at least times one more. Okay? So, divide 336 divided by 48. Estimate. <coughs> they estimated 336 to what? To be what? Okay. And they estimated 48 to be 50. Okay. And we know that there are how many 50s in 300? Six. So we're going to try it by six. And so six times eight is what? And since it's a single digit here, we know it's going to come over here and be in the ones place. All right, so six times eight is? 48. So if we put a little 8 right here, I always regroup over there. Why do I regroup over there? Right. If you don't like to do that, you can go somewhere on your paper and write it out. What is 6 times 4? 4 plus 4. 24 plus 4 is? 28. Okay. Now I'm going to subtract. They have that for down here. Okay. Can I subtract 6 minus 8? No. So I'm going to have to do some regrouping. I'm going to make this 3 a 2. I'm going to give that 6, 10. 16 minus 8 is? Now I have a 2. Can I take 2 take a minus 8? So I'm going to have to regroup again. 12 minus 8 is? What do we know about this? Very good. It's the same as my divisor. So that's not going to work, is it? So we're going to add one. Okay? So we're going to now try a 7. Okay? So you should be able to go across the bar there and try a 7. And 7 times 8 is 56. Regroup of 5. 7 times 4 is? Plus 5 is? 33. And when I subtract, I get? Which should have been a hint over here, right? When we had the divisor left. <coughs> so since... On this one, since 48 is 
equal to 48, the estimate is too low. So 36 divided by 48 is 7. Okay, let's see where this is. 1,546 divided by 41. And they're telling you to start with a 4. How do you think they got a 4? What do you think they estimated that to be? 40. Our divisor to be 40 and our dividend to be 1,600. So they started with a 4. Let's see if that works. What is 4 times 1? And 4 times 4? Did 4 work? No, it's too what? Too high. So we're going to come back and we're going to make that a 3. 3 times 1 is 3. And 3 times 4 is 12. And now I can subtract, and I got 31. Is that lower than our divisor, than the 41? Yes. 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 So is that going to work? Yes. Okay. And if I bring down my 6, now I've got to look how many 41s in 316. Well, if I round 316 to 320, and I use 40, how many 4s in 32? 8. So I could try an 8 here. Let's see if that works. 8 times 1 is? 8. And 8 times 4 is? Is that going to work? No. Too big, isn't it? Okay. So now we're going to go down one. And we're going to try 7. 7 times 1 is 7. And 7 times 4 is 28. I'll do a little regrouping. 16 minus 7 is 9. 10 minus 8 is, is 29 less than 41. So our answer is 37. Remainder 29. Okay, I think we maybe we have time to do one more. Um I'm guessing they rounded 16 to 20, maybe, and 416 to 400, and they said, well, two 20s will go into 40. So, let's try 2 times 6 is 12. Group 1, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 11 minus 2 is 9. Is 9 less than 16? Okay, and I bring down my 6 and I get 96. How many 10s in 90? 9. Let's try that. I rounded this to 10. 9. 9 times 6 is 54. And 9 times 1 is 9 plus 5 is Whoa. Did that work very well? No. Okay. Let's think again. What might we do? What if I rounded that to... What else could I round that to? 15. Into 45, what would I do? 3. 6. 9. Let's say 16 is 20. How many 20 is 96? Four. Can we try four? You think that's going to be big enough? That's 80. That's 64. I'm going to have 32 left. So how many more do I need? What do we know about 16 and 32? It goes in there twice, doesn't it? So we're going to have to do 6, and 6 times 6 is 36. Regroup a 3. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 3 is 9.